All right, Shalom. First off, I'm going to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh by Hashem Rakaq I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And it's just here, Shalom, to all the Akim out here that's doing and pushing the work in truth and in sincerity. Okay, this uh, video is based off of an article, okay, from this man, Dan Rodericks, that said, uh, Ellicott City flood was no act of God. Okay, and um, in this article, he uh, tends to talks about um, basically a lot of the reasons why that uh, flood happened is because of, um, you know, people and the things that people do. Okay, and that basically God didn't uh, intervene um and that now i'm gonna get that scripture i'm gonna get a, it's a couple of scriptures that i have okay but um a lot of people don't understand that there's no such thing as uh free will everything that happens happens for a reason it's what the lord wants okay so um i'm gonna just uh get this scripture proverbs 20 and uh 24 it says man's goings are of the lord how can a man then understand his own way okay so based off what this man is saying okay he's basically saying that people are the reason why this happened okay uh because you could go into an older suburban area instead of a new one okay um the amount of food and fuel people consume and you know so on and so forth you know these are um basically starts so at the end of the article it says there are no acts of god okay this is amos three and six so a trumpet be blown in the city and the people be not, not be afraid and and what we what we tell people okay Especially here at Great Millstone, is that the Lord is going to destroy this place, man. We've been blowing that trumpet, and you, you people, y'all don't want to, y'all don't want to hear it. Okay, y'all, y'all not, y'all not afraid. Okay, that that, for example, things like Ellicott City. Okay, with the the the, the flood, y'all y'all don't think that that stuff like that could happen, man. Okay, and if it does happen, then it's not the Lord who's doing it. So y'all people, y'all y'all are not afraid. It says, "Shall there be an evil in a city, and the Lord has not done have not done it?" So so there be an evil in the city, or an act in the city, and the Lord have not done it. It was not the elegant city and an evil thing, a bad thing. Okay. Surely, surely the Lord God will do nothing, but he reveals his secret unto his servants, the prophets. Okay, this is a spiritual thing. Okay. Isaiah 14 and 26. This is the purpose that is purposed upon the whole earth. And this is the hand that is stretched out upon all the nations. For the Lord have for the Lord of hosts have purposed it. I mean purposed. And who shall disannul it? Okay. Who shall disannul it? Okay. To break it. To frustrate. Make ineffectual. Okay. To be broken. Okay. To cause it to fail, to make it void. Those are the definitions for, for disannul it. It says, and his hand is stressed out, and who shall turn it back? And right now the Lord's hand is, is stressed out, you know, to, to, to harm um this, this country, man. Certain things are, are going on. Okay. Nobody's gonna be able to, to turn back the Lord's hand because that's his purpose. Okay, Isaiah 45 and 7. 
I form the light and create the dark, create darkness. I make peace and create evil. So everything that you see says if, if there's an evil in the city and the Lord have not done it, everything that you see, okay, it says I, the Lord, do all these things, okay? So the one you ignorantly call God, he is acting, okay? And he's giving, he, he's about to destroy America, okay? So when them thermonuclear missiles come down, you got to know that that's an act of God, okay? Yeah, he, it, it may be man pushing them buttons, but the Lord going to put the spirit on that man to push them buttons, okay? Because it said man's going to all of the Lord. Psalms 66 and 3. Say unto God, how terrible are, are you and your works? Through the greatness of your power, shall your enemies submit themselves unto you. Okay? And the Lord is going to sow his power, man. He's already sowing his power right now. But you people, y'all don't wanna y'all don't wanna hear it. Okay, y'all not y'all not afraid. Okay? But guess what? Y'all y'all gonna be as it is written, every every knee shall bow down. Okay? It says all the earth shall worship. Worship and so sing unto you, and they so sing to your name. Okay, come and see the works of God. He is terrible in his doing toward the children of men. He turned the sea into dry land. Okay, they went through the flood on foot. That there did we rejoice in him. People always want to, you know, every time you see a, a miracle happen, okay, that's when y'all want to give give credit to him. When when stuff do good. Okay, well, going good for y'all now. All of a sudden, y'all want y'all want to give credit on to the Lord, but when 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 uh, things are bad, oh no, nah, they ain't they ain't the Lord. Okay, the Lord ain't trying to hear that, man. He wants all His power, man, all His credit. Okay, Second Corinthians five and eleven, knowing therefore the terror of the Lord. We persuade men, but we are made manifest unto God, and I trust also are made manifest in your consciences. Okay? So the thing is, the fact is, that the Lord is the one who's doing these terrible things. Okay? All these things, this, this elegant city, this is an act of God. Okay, whether this man believes it or not, okay? Yeah, people crying, lost, losing their business, okay, losing, losing hope. Okay, your life could change in, in, in the blink of an eye, man. Okay, it's just that simple. So with that, man, I want to say, uh, Salawam.